you going stir crazy at home? Do you want to get outside and have some fun? Do you want to help out the Houston area by making observations in your natural surroundings? Then join us and learn how to participate in Houston area's City Nature Challenge. My name is Della Barbado and I am the Director of Education for the Houston chapter of the Native Prairies Association of Texas. So what is special about native plants is that they attract all kinds of native insects, animals, reptiles, and amphibians. So they are all wild. So that's what we're going to be doing is having you find some wild and native stuff. So let's go find some wild. In this time, it is hard to find something fun and educational to do. Well, I've got a solution. I have an activity that will not only solve your boredom problem, but your observations will go into an international database that will say that these things were right here at this time. And look at this pretty purple flower. You don't have to know what it is. All you have to do is take a picture of it. Observations posted on the iNaturalist app will automatically be counted for the City Nature Challenge for the area where you observe. It will also be geolocated. This means that it will be documented as being found on that spot on that day and will be research data for anyone to see and use. How do I participate? It's easy. First, download the iNaturalist app onto your smartphone. Then, find a wild species that you would like to observe. You don't have to know what it is. The community will help you to identify it through the iNaturalist app. Whether it is a plant or an insect or a spider or a reptile or an amphibian, any one of those will do and are considered part of the wild community unless it was planted intentionally. Most important thing is safety. Do not gather amongst other people for this activity. Only participate with the loved ones that you are quarantined with. The best places to photograph and record wild species are your backyard, nearby park, or waterway. If you do encounter other people, smile and say hello, but stay at least six feet away from them. A famous African-American tennis player named Arthur Ashe once said, start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can. So where you are is your backyard. What you have is your smartphone and the iNaturalist app. And what you can do is take photographs of wild things. There is no wrong or right way to do this. Hi everyone, I'm Shannon Westphere and I am a Texas Master Naturalist of the Coastal Prairie Chapter. I'm Della's friend also. We love iNaturalist. iNaturalist helps you to find out what something is. Like for instance, what is that? That looks like a big pokey thing. You know, and we find a lot of things when we really look down, like right next to this pokey thing. Look what I found. It's so tiny. We can take a picture of it. So um, we're in my garden and I have this pretty little uh, flower that I planted. I know what it is, but let's just say that I didn't know what it was. 
and I wanted to see uh, what it's called using the iPhone or the Android app called iNaturalist. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my app and I'm going to touch the button called observed at the bottom and it's going to open up a camera. Now I like to pinch it a little bit so that it zooms in nicely and then I turn it to the side and I hold my flower into the sun and then I take a nice crisp picture. Then I tap next and right under the flower is what did you see? It gives me a list of things that it could be and not all of them grow in this area. But I'm going to look at the information part of the Indian blanket on top and when I scroll down I'm going to see that there are a lot of observations all over the United States of America, particularly here in Texas where we are. So that is the one that I'm going to select. And then I'm going to share it. And it's easy as that. All right, so we have a sunflower that just come, came up today, and I don't know what it is. So we're going to see if iNat can tell me what it is. So again, I start up my iNaturalist app and I come over here and I find my flower, my bunny cage here. This is my pretty flower head. This is a really neat flower. This is just a flower head, but actually all the flowers are the little teeny tiny parts right there. So I'm going to, again, pinch a little bit and I'm going to come and take a picture of my flower in the sunshine as much as I can. And the thing about sunflowers is that I also want to take a picture of the leaves so I'm going to tap a little plus here to add another picture and I'm going to pinch again and I'm going to take a picture of the leaf. I'm in the shadow. Let me come over this way. I'm going to take a picture of the leaf. And I'm going to click next. What did I see? And this tells me it's Calpen Daisy. And I know that I planted Calpen Daisy here. So that is what I'm going to select and share with the world. All right. So I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to catch a bee, a fly, or a wasp. You don't have to be scared about them stinging you because they're foraging. They're not protecting their nest. They're just looking for food for their babies. Now this is a little patch of a blackjack, uh, which is a daisy, and there are some honeybees uh, on this blackjack. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk up to a flower with a honeybee on it, and I'm going to slide this over the top. So we're going to keep walking, looking for a honeybee. There's one right here. See how easy that was? And now I have a honeybee in my jar and I can look at him. And then when it's time to let him go, I just simply take the lid off and let him crawl out and he's gonna fly away. I'm retaking images because he keeps falling into the shadow. There we go. Okay, I think I've got an image I can use. I'm gonna click next. And what did I see? And what do you know? Asian honeybee is not what we have here. If I tap the information part of Asian honeybee, 
and I look where it is. That's in Asia. Here is not where the Asian honeybee is. I know that this is the Western honeybee, which is an invasive bee here in America. It was brought over by the Europeans, but unfortunately they do pollinate all of our crops. And lo and behold in North America, that is where they are now. And we will select Western honeybee and share it. Oh, there's no location here. I'm gonna touch the little location icon and then share it. And I am done. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to take a picture of an insect without pinching. That is without touching your screen at all. So here's the insects. I can come in pretty close. If I come in too close, it gets uh, out of focus. So I'm going to back up. I can back up even more if I want to until it's nice and crisp. Take a picture and then I'm going to tap on my picture and edit it. And then I tap on the rotation uh, icon over here to the right. And then I pinch this one in. And then I press done. And now I have a super crisp, beautiful image that I can use to identify this insect using iNaturalist.